Project Cars 2, Invitational Events, continues. Um, what do I have here? Uh, I was at the road events. I think I completed uh, four out of five, which uh, which are unlocked at the moment. So Japanese street trophy is the next one. Difficulty, I'm going to give it 75 because I'm going to use the stick again and that slows me down a little bit. So change the car. Let's pick up the Nissan. Let's go with the stable setup to start with. Um, what kind of tires do we have? Okay, we'll go with the softs as well here. Lower the pressure a little bit, it's really cold on the racetrack. Brake pressure, that's interesting. I don't know how it's going to behave, so we'll see. Uh, maybe just a little bit more to it. Less, actually. Quite a high caster angle there, okay. And plenty of fuel, we have only 10 laps in the race. So let's reduce that, uh, maybe to something like that, okay. Save to the new one, it's, uh, it's Suga. And this is the R. And it's on softs. Here we go. That's our setup. A quick one, nothing special. Let's see if it works. So I think this is a puddles car rather than. Whoa! Why my car was already driving? Ah, because I'm in the gear here. That. Horrible start. Uh, the Opel Astra is the one um, in TC, right? Group. Okay, we've lost the plane. Don't worry about it. We'll get it back. Yeah, I did a few laps uh, recently with it on, I think on Knock Hill. It's a nice nimble car for such a small trucks. Oh, the GTR is so much better to drive. It actually turns. It's so much more stable as well, but definitely slower and straight at least.
whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. That wasn't planned. left wheels touched the grass there and there was effect of that uh, destabilization in braking Good exit from that uh, corner. I won't have enough power on that straight. I may actually need to defend. Oh, and he pushed me again. What the AI is doing today? What the hell? Started raining. How does uh, soft tires will work um, in these wet conditions? Well, he bumped me last time, so here we go. I'm giving back what I what I got. Yeah, but in wet, I have no traction whatsoever. How the hell the AI is still driving? I 
have four wheel drive, they have a rear wheel drive. like on ice at that moment and the car doesn't turn at all at 60 km per hour I think the soft may have been, may have been a bad idea yeah, they're not working are they going to zero traction are they going to pit to change the tires I have no traction whatsoever. Even the the group E cars are overtaking me now. No, they didn't go to pit to change tires, so they're starting with different tires than I am. Ah, oh, this is so annoying. That game doesn't communicate it well, so let's try to change them to hearts. Uh, what does do? All terrain, snow, ice. Yeah, let's go hearts. Hearts were working as our road tires quite well in rain in the BMW one in one of the invitational events. So maybe they're going to work quite well. Set up because those are hearts. So here we go. Try that. They bump into each other. That wasn't fair. The gear didn't engage. Better. One of the reasons why I have a feeling that the car, uh, that the bunny didn't turn, and I have a similar feeling with this one, is because those are road cars, they probably have whole 900 or 1080 degree rotation, while all the race cars have a soft lock at around 6, 700. That may be the difference, you just need to turn more the wheel with those road cars. Or maybe not, I don't know. But that's my feeling. Turn! I forgot I had hearts. Too late on brakes.
very wider at the exit. Well, I wasn't inside. This time he hit by turning it onto me. I'm around 3-4 seconds slower on those hard tires in comparison to the softs in my previous attempt. But I kinda hope that it's going to change when the rain starts. They just drive around me. standing on the truck became very reflective yes I think those hearts give me a bit more grip in those really bad weather conditions
is lap 7. And I think I'm gaining on them now a little bit, but it's not enough. I'm trying to think it may be medium tires would be the best choice. Though so those hearts are giving quite a lot of feedback now. That's lap 8 out of 10. Very slippery in these conditions, but I think those hard tires are the best choice for the race. Plenty of uh, feedback for the force feedback now on straight higher speeds. That means there is quite a lot of water on the truck. The software nowhere. the truck became a bit wetter. Those hearts were really slow in dry conditions. Three to four seconds slower than the softs in one of my first attempts. But in wet they gave me now a lot of advantage. Oh and he bumped into me. I was already well into next to him, pretty much parallel, parallel and, uh, and I wasn't inside, so I have a full right left corner there. I definitely have much more traction at the exits of these corners, that's lap 9 out of 10. The guy in front is a P1 driver, uh, so we are in P2 at the moment, hopefully I can gain that one extra position. Before the end of the race, which will be in a lap and a bit. It's really wet now. My drive is a bit conservative, I'm not pushing hard here, I don't want any mistakes. I have better traction at the exit, allowed me to push harder and overtake. Final lap, this is the final lap. Don't let second place big mark in the last sector, keep pushing it. 
right behind me there. I have to be really, really slow in some of these corners to even make the corner. Otherwise, I won't be able to negotiate it. Again, a lot of feedback on the straight here. Yes, those uh, hard tires were the right choice. That was at 75 difficulty, so it wasn't really high. I, I would say it was reasonable. Uh, I'm curious if knowing what I know now about the conditions of track and the tires to use, if I could attempt that in the bunny, in that 86. Uh, to be completely honest, I don't want to waste time for the try. And that's it, end of the race. Oh, I don't want to kill them. That was a masterful piece thank you, of thank driving. you. Great job, bud. See you in the pit. It was quite interesting, Grace. Uh, lucky I wanted, I didn't think it was possible to start with, but the weather changed everything. Uh, weather in the right tires. One point, wow. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's a single race event anyway. So, no, there really. Supercars. So, I finish all the road one. Supercars, Carrera Showdown. Showdown. Here we go. Eight laps. Eight laps of uh, Carrera on the Porsche Leipzig full circuit, which is the Porsche test circuit. Uh, this one is quite interesting. It's uh, it's a mix of dry and wet. The I, I tried it already. I failed. The rain will start around lap three. And it's uh, heavy enough to flood the truck. Um, the problem are the tires. So I can take the the best tires for the race are um, 
medium Spirelli or hard Pirelli. So mediums are the best. Mediums are really good on, on dry. Uh, I can easily win with AI, uh, but as soon as it starts raining, they're useless. So hards are better for wet, uh, but it's still not good enough. So I need to reduce the difficulty. I reduce it by 10 to 75, which I still think are amount. And let's try it again. So that Porsche is a H stick. It's a six gear H pattern. Um, so we're going to use that H stick here with clutch. I mentioned it before. I said it again. Uh, Project Cars 2 is broken in terms of it doesn't require clutch, even if you don't use the dog box gearbox. So you don't have to synchronize. You can just change clutch. I'm using clutch just because my leg goes straight to the clutch on its own as soon as my right hand goes to this. Uh, stick you still need to bleep or kick the accelerator a little bit uh, on the downshift to stabilize the car so that's good part let's load the, the hard compound tires setup and let's try it uh, those are the hard tires uh, hard tires are fine keep an eye on the light watch out for wheel spin and let's nail this start Just gear Good start. Hit that green light just in time. Perfectly, I would say. I would like to be on the inside of the next turn. Hopefully, I can make it. Because it's double the right hander. Okay, this guy was braking, which gives me another position. That was good. Don't want to crash into anyone here. Try to get the inside of the chicane here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. A bit of bumping there. As a flying condor, it was that Porsche in front of me. Up one out of eight. That's why I have hard tires. He was trying to squeeze into the inside, but there was not enough space for him. But P3 is pushing some pressure on me. No, if they destroying the scones, maybe I can as well, right? Why wouldn't I? Wow. 
What? That's a BS, seriously. Okay, I had a good exit here. What is... How the hell did he manage to slow down here? And keep that position? I don't know that. I don't think I have to know that because I'm first at the moment because I had the insight to this to put this double right hander. Which is good. Okay, we can hear the rain now. That's lap three. I don't see it yet, which is strange, but I can definitely hear it. Yeah, I can see the rain as well now. So we have both a visual confirmation and we can hear it. And this truck here looks wet now. There are reflections like, oh, and I can hear now that the truck is wet. Really? Again? Oh, it's through it there. Messed up this corner. Shouldn't be doing that if I want to win. That's end of lap three, five laps to go. There are no puddles yet. Once they will start showing, the drive will become so much harder. A bit earlier, third gear. Just to make it a bit easier for the traction. Car doesn't turn in those conditions. Point up shifting to fourth here, it's better to stay in third. That up pulled before just a second. I uh, wouldn't wouldn't gain anything by doing that. So that's end of lap. Four, four laps to go. Conditions in track are getting worse and worse. I can see the first puddles, smalls, but they only will get bigger. And avoiding them is a priority if you want to avoid aquaplaning and skidding as a result of aqua building. Tires are totally cold, 20 degrees Celsius, even 14, some of them. 
Well, those are road tires uh, by Pirelli, so I don't think it matters that much. Hard compound, which is the best from the road tires on in wet conditions. Uh, the soft compound just give zero grip, and the medium doesn't give enough. Even that hard compound is uh, is just a bit more rain, and it will be they will be useless. Some occasions when I'm really lucky, the car is perfectly straight. I can even accelerate on the second gear. But generally, third one is safer. It doesn't mean it's safe. Fourth is where it's. For a three-second lead, that's great. Stay focused and keep pushing. Fourth is where it gets uh, where it's getting comfortable with acceleration, and the car does not want to spin every single second. So the braking at the end of the straight scares me, it's so easy to lose the car, it's better to start braking a bit earlier, instead of braking really hard, we go, we can see how the car dances under braking, nothing can be taken for granted. There was, the, there was a puddle aquaplaning straight away on those front wheels, left front, and I had to fight a little bit for the control. That's why I'm trying to stay in the middle of the truck, where there's a less chance for a puddle. It's a bit different that chicane. Oh, I hit that tires there. No damage though. It was a very low speed. That's end of lap 6, 2 laps to go. Crazy braking again here. That's the biggest braking on that truck. Not the hardest necessarily, but in those wet conditions, if delayed, can cause a lot of trouble. Here we go. I had to fight the car again in the braking. I think it stopped raining. I could hear that uh, wipers cooling on that windshield. That's, I think, is the, the hardest braking to this one because it's kind of in the turn, in the corner. And I lost a lot here. I don't know why. They're right behind me. I don't know what's going on. Doesn't feel like I slowed down, but it feels like they suddenly accelerated a lot. Just one lap to go. That is really, really worrying. There's just 1.1, 1.2 seconds advantage here. 
Keep on, it's final lap now. The guy behind is close enough to have a pop at you, so prepare to defend yourself. We want this win. Yeah, I want that win as well, but... Easier said than done, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, I'm still controlling that at that, sta at that stage. Still around 1.2 seconds from what I can see on my dashboard. Stay right behind again. This is when I'm losing the most because first of all, I don't like that braking. Second of all, there are puddles there. Which affect, which really Go affect me. That was crazy. I lost the control of the car. I didn't do it on purpose. I was really fighting for the control there. So nothing was done purposely. I'm so glad it's the end of this race. Slow down there. It's a cool down lap, you don't have to try to race me anymore. That engine is taking this uh, high revving quite well, let's uh, see if it damage on it. Even though in some occasion I was going heavy on it. I think we have a drying line here now. And I think to be honest it's, uh, it's a bit too early for one to show. It, uh, it's like two laps from the time it stopped training and the truck was quite wet. Limiter engaged, let's park that car. I could at least put the roof in these conditions, but uh, I'm glad it's uh, it's over. Didn't have the fastest lap. Uh, though this guy in the second place was significantly quicker than the rest looking at the best laps. Benjamin Manger. Okay, off with this race. It was a hard one. Uh, mainly due to the tires, which were not up to the job. The next one is California Dream, uh, which is great, but you know, I've never drive on California highway, which means I, I don't know it. So I don't know what to do here. I could actually go and practice, but I don't really want to practice on that track because what I'm going to use it once or
I have to drive the Porsche, which is cool. Uh, four wheel drive, six speed, uh, H pattern. Uh, I'm going to keep it at 70 and I'll see what comes out of it. Uh, I'll try, I'll give it a try, at least. But yes, uh, I, this is such a big mystery, the truck, like every corner is a mystery. I'm sure there are people who love it and drive a lot on it, but yeah. I remember it more from Project Cars 1 when I did maybe two, three races there, but I don't think I've ever driven on it in Project Cars 2. So I may actually, rather than try to learn it, lower the difficulty and just try to force through it. Uh, I'm pretty sure but the forecast is medium cloud, so what are the best tires we have here? I guess the truck tires are, are the best. Um, I'm sure I'm not going to need that amount of fuel. If I take 30 liters, should it be enough, right? I hope so. But that's what, that's California. And what's that Porsche? 959? Nine, I haven't checked actually, so I don't remember. And track tires. It's horrible that I don't remember the, the car I'm driving, but anyway. Uh, line please <laughs> that was a good start didn't see that coming and I messed it up all in just one stupid move. to release the accelerator completely, not to crash into anyone. Now staying behind that Mitsubishi should help with breaking points. I 
think second gear would be better there. Bloody hell, I hate this game. I, hate, I don't hate this game, I hate this truck because I don't know it. Okay, that was atomic start. I'm not sure what the next corner is going to be, so that's why I'm driving a little bit slower. Oh. Because I just don't know what to expect, like here. All those corners are blind. Driving fast enough there, there you would probably jump. Just clicked. Put the lights on, which didn't help me a lot. seems to be risky because again I don't know what's the next corner that is the first gear corner definitely it would be good to have a co-pilot here a co-driver or whatever a yeah, co-driver I guess Someone who will be telling you one left, three right, fifty, three right, six left, that <laughs> would be very helpful. Also first gear? I don't know. It is. Oh, too fast.
those lights are not hurting at all. It's just a gimmick. And Mitsubishi is right behind me. That's because AI exactly knows how fast to drive. And I don't. Oh, whoa. Okay. Are we hitting the highway? Finally. I think we are. Oh wow, that is good in the Porsche. Takes gear to 60. No, I still don't know where I'm driving. I won't be taking too much risk here. Rather slow down a little bit and stay on the road than crash. I think I thought it would be a turn, never right, and it was straight still, so... Not knowing when one is driving. I'm glad I stopped in time, I slowed down in time to the third gear. But the Mitsubishi is right there behind me. It's 75 difficulty for the race, and I think for uh, not knowing the racetrack, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's not even a racetrack, right? It's just the highway. Or a public road, let's call it what it is. That was a jump. Is it another one? Oh, at least I can see some road ahead of me now. On those downhills. I hope the finish line is somewhere close. Whoa, 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 whoa. I lost it there, <laughs> that was crazy. line here? Yes it is, oh, finally. You know, I can drive the hardest racetrack, Nordschleife, but driving on a, on a road, you don't know, it's, it's just so stressful. Cool, Porsche was great, did the job. Another invitational event completed. I'm curious if I, if I have time for one more. Uh, it's a Formula 1 race in half an hour. Uh, I have Pagani Nordschleife Starlight Special. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't have time for that. British Classic Showdown. What's that? So, what cars we have here? McLaren and Jaguar. Uh, I think I'll go with the Jaguar just because. Can't remember many games where you can drive that. The beauty. It's lighter, it has more horsepower. It has worse acceleration and a lower lower top speed, but this one is C, this one is road B. 
So this one is in a higher class. Five speed H pattern and six speed H. But definitely not that color. British green. No British green, then this might gray or this silver metallic. Probably that silver metallic. Okay, what truck is it? Silverstone National. How many laps? Eight laps. Um, okay, let's give it a try. So hot here today. Show stars around 27 degrees in shade, probably more than 30 in sun. Of course, it's raining. How else? We are in UK, right? So the weather outside is beautiful. So uh, the truck temperature is 70 degrees. It's rather bad. Uh, do we have our wet compound here? Don't. So I'll keep it automated by weather and I'll see what's going to be chosen for us. I'm going to reduce the pressure because it will be hard to warm up the tires. Uh, braking pressure is at 100. Uh, let's keep it. I don't know what to expect. Uh, I think we can close this a little bit. Uh, bolt outside. It's raining. They should be they should be good like that downforce as much as I can get okay five uh, I don't need much I don't know I don't need that much fuel it's eight laps only let's try to put it down to 12 just in case it's, uh, it's a miscalculation on the game side uh, it is Silverstone that's uh, what's the name of the Jaguar? 220, right? 20, and this is automatic by weather. Uh, check something. Okay, let's try it. The forecast is light rain, so the weather shouldn't change. We have some McLarens and we have some Jaguars there. I'm the last of the Jaguars, okay. So the Jaguar Silverstone in wet, some lights, some wipers, start. Early second gear and it's still twitch like hell, start with wet conditions. Oh, I don't know what happened there. I was freaking as hard as I could. Okay, maybe, maybe now I'm not able to do it. Hello, mate, how are you? Okay, I was able to get on the inside in that corner and overtaking. Let's see if I can catch up the yellow Jaguar. A lot of fun, yes, definitely. In that game, my favorite racing game. Okay, good, I'm in front. That was nice to white, 
save from the boss. Yeah, I guess it depends of the cars. I think the the racing cars are much better than the road cars. Definitely, this game definitely has its problems. But uh, but generally, it's definitely my favorite as well. One of the worst things with this game. Uh... Oh yes, I can 100% agree with that. Adults are the worst. And the, the problem is that AI is not affected by them. So when you race with AI in wet, you have a big disadvantage with puddles. And the curves as well, the curves kind of suck you in. But my biggest issue with this game at the moment is that That's the best second one time of anyone so far. Great you can, job, keep you, it up. You can change gears on H stick without using clutch. In any car, any gearbox, doesn't matter. The clutch is just not needed in this game, which is a big, big issue. I'm still using it, just for fun of it, but it's not needed. to you because I think it has to be quite hard the controller if you can master that wow man congratulations I tried and I couldn't uh, I'm just not good enough with the controller to go just in time for the Formula One race today if I can finish it yeah I think with the controller you have to ride with the wheel I can put everything as realistic as possible but with the controller I'm guessing you need to make Oh, that's really good, man. That's, uh, that's so you're going realistic, realistic aids on the car with the controller. That's some skill. Congratulations. And how how do you do with the more powerful cars? Is it is it quite well drivable? Stop braking here a little bit. Still, I think it still requires quite a lot of skill because that trigger on the controller has quite a short movement, right? So you need to train your finger quite well for that. I personally tried that and I couldn't do it. With the slow cars I could, but with the faster cars 
Oh, that was horrible. Not far to go now, just the last lap. Keep on it all the way to the flag. Come on, we can win it. So I always say that you need quite a lot of skill to drive on the controller in, in games like Project Cars. Okay, that's the final lap. That's good. I use the Xbox controller whenever I drive in the Forza Motorsport, uh, no Motorsport, the Horizon, because obviously those games are a bit easier. Okay, I didn't know that, you see. Yeah, that's because I tried it maybe twice and then I didn't go back to it, since I have a wheel. That's, oh, that's prefer method for me. That's a win. Just need to deliver the car to the pit box. And we'll be all done. Another invitational cleared. Okay, you see I didn't know how that uh, how that worked from a technical point of view. So I guess I learned something new. That's good. Always hungry for knowledge. Oh, I think I missed the pit entry. Have an eye. Oh no, it's right here. Perfect, and that is just in time for the Formula 1 race. What time is it? Is it almost 2? It is. 10 minutes till the start of the French Grand Prix. Well, I'll have a quick look what's next in the, in the books for me when it comes to the invitational events in Project Cars 2. It's that Pagani Nordschleife, uh, three laps. That would be interesting, such a quick car on such a truck. I think for that, and it's a night, night race as well, uh, 11 p.m. So I think I will do some testing and training for this one, a bit of practice. Uh, I can choose between three cars. Uh, I think I'll take the truck day car for such a truck. And it looks the best as well. Anyway, that won't be now, because now is the Formula 1 race in TV. So I would like to all thank you for watching. I wish you a great Sunday. And hopefully I'll see you uh, all later. And you can find all my previous videos on, on YouTube. if you. Thanks again. Thank you very much, you two. Have a great, have a great day. Have a great Sunday. And I see you next time.